Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the still segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is a brief overview of the new drawing content manager, which is available in Tackle Structures version 2018, as well as a few other tools that we've added to make it easier and faster for you to edit your drawings. So when you open a drawing in version 2018, you'll notice this new icon on the side pane called the drawing content manager. What this is, is it's a new interactive tool for checking and editing marks notes and model objects in the current drawing. So to begin I'm going to go ahead and click on show. What that's going to do is it's going to populate this list of the information that's available to be seen on this drawing. I have the option to filter out only the things that are shown or I can also view information about stuff that is hidden as well. I can also show this for the entire drawing or I can just isolate it to just an individual view. As mentioned, this is interactive, so as I come in and click on anything in this data grid over here, it will begin to highlight that information there in the drawing. I have the option to toggle between selecting marks or parts, so if I switch to this, it will now begin to highlight the marks instead of the drawing objects. Once those are highlighted, I can begin interacting with those. I can right click and I can delete. I can come in and hold down the shift key and double click to open up the properties box. So if I want to make changes to these marks all at one time, I have the ability to do that. And what this allows me to do is to come in and begin checking my drawing, for example. I can come in and I can sort by mark quantity. I can see here that my base plate is only shown once, my base plate mark. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm going to toggle between selecting the mark to selecting my drawing object. And I can see here that my mark is just shown once in this section, but it's not shown in my front or my top view. So either in the drawing or in the data grid, I can right click and say add part mark. And then I can see that those are added here to my drawing. As I hit refresh over here, I'll see my quantity increase from one to three. So this can act as a good check for me in my drawings to make sure that I have all of my marks visible and I can easily see in which view those are shown. So if we come over here to our section view, another thing that I want to show is that if I click on this and hit show, this will give me the information just for this specific view. I can see here that I do have some marks that are not shown. But I also want to highlight a new option that we have available as well. So since the last time I edited this drawing, it looks like there was a new plate that was added. If I come in here and highlight all of these options, I now have a new right click option to add associative notes. Before this option was only available in general arrangement drawings, now it's available on all drawings. So another thing that I also want to highlight is that you'll notice a new mark placement algorithm, whether it's associative notes or marks as you can see here is that as we add marks or associative notes, we do our best to avoid these leader lines from overlapping. So you'll begin to notice better placement of those throughout your drawings. If you do, for example, have something that's overlapping or crisscross, we have added these new options up here called Arrange Marks and Align Marks. If I click on Arrange Marks, you'll see that it will go in and then place those based upon this new algorithm. We can also come in here and use this align marks, which will then align those as you can see there. So this applies to all marks and associative notes with the exception of weld marks. And now what I can do is I can come in and hit refresh and I can see all of these quantities change. So it does take into account the associative note quantities. So if I toggle this again, I'll see here my regular mark and my associative mark that is called out here. So one other thing that I want to mention, if we come over here and look at this section B so that we can see where it was also cut from the main view, is that sometimes there's a need where you want to just select an object here in the drawing and then to be able to interact with the part mark. In the new right click menu, you have that option now. So here in select marks, I can say that I want to select the marks for that drawing object, either in my current view or in all drawing views. So if I choose all drawing views, I can see here that this P34 is highlighted there and where it's displayed over here. And then again, I have the same options. I can open up the properties. I can right click and choose delete. I can then interact with this as needed. So what I like the most about this is that it allows you to seamlessly interact between the marks and the drawing objects, either using the drawing content manager or some of the new right click options that we have available. So to look at some more functionality that we have available, let's go ahead and open up our general arrangement drawing. And one of the nice things about the Drawing Content Manager is because it's interactive, it can serve as a good check for you in the drawings. 
So say you went through and you scrubbed your drawing, you got it all cleaned up as best as you can. And then you want to check maybe on a complex general arrangement drawing, you want to see if any marks are missing. Or for example, maybe there's a, a fill weld symbol that, that was missing. So what I'll do in this is I'll just go ahead and click on show. Here I get a list of all of the parts that are shown. You can see here that if I go in and organize this, there's some that do not have marks shown on the drawing. I can go through and investigate those. But what I want to focus on in this example are my welds. So here I do have a fill weld situation. I don't know where it is here in this drawing, but I can see that I don't have any sections or details and I need to provide this information for the field to be able to properly do their job. So I'm going to go ahead, instead of selecting marks, I'm going to select highlight objects. And now I can see where that is illuminated on my drawing. So over here I have, looks like a fill well scenario or a moment connection that I need to provide a detail or section for. Before I do that, now that that weld is highlighted, I can right click and say add weld mark and be able to interact with this directly from that weld object. I also have the ability to select weld marks just like we were looking at for the parts. And I can do this from the current drawing view or from all drawing views if those are visible there. So let's say now we need to come in and we need to cut a section. So let's go up to view, section view, and we'll just take a look at this, make sure that we show this weld information here. Let's just place this view over in this area. Then I can expand this and then we can begin to clean this up a little bit more. So I can double click on this. Let's say we want to turn on our weld marks. So I'll just come into this, say that I want to see my site welds, click on modify, and then those should show up here for me in this view. So one thing to note with the new mark placement algorithms, it doesn't yet apply to our weld marks, but I'll just go ahead and move some of these out of the way and then show you something else that I want to highlight in this video. So if we take a look here, I have these M3 marks top and below, and I have these for my backer bars. So let's say that I come here to the assembly position and I want to also see the name, not just the assembly position. So I'm just gonna add this and click on modify. And then just give these some space just so you can see what I'm going to explain next. We've added in a new option here for where we position our leader line. So you can see here with this justified over to the left, my leader line is kind of floating in space. I have all this empty space here. So if I select both of these and come over to general, we've added in a new option called this leader line where what it will do is it will place the leader line by the text regardless of whether it's on the left side or the right side. So you can see there that this has been positioned and then if I click and drag, this is going to automatically update and adjust where that text will be so that it's closest to the leader line so that we don't have any of that dead space there. So that option existed before for text and now it's available for marks and associative notes. One last thing that I'll show here is that it's not new in version 2018. It's been around for a couple versions, but it's just one thing that I want to highlight uh, that's really useful for cleaning up drawings. And it's this option here where we have this word wrapping and then the ruler width. So I've gone through and I've created this note. Let's just go ahead and place this here on the drawing. And then as I highlight this, you can see this new magenta line. So that's the ruler width and it's interactive. So I click and drag this, you can see that it's automatically going to update and adjust the text there so that I can easily position this anywhere that I would want. So if I want to keep on clicking to drag that, I can just adjust that based upon how much space I have. And just a real nice way to go in and create your notes and then position them interactively on your drawing. So one of our goals is to make drawing editing a faster and more efficient process, which is why we've added a lot of these new features. So as always, we encourage you to try them out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.